It is indeed a great privilege and an honor for me to address you on this occasion. More than 20 years ago, Nelson Mandela asked me to come to attend the Commonwealth Business Forum. And today, I'm overjoyed once again to be here. And the privilege and honor is doubly enhanced because this year we celebrate 100 years of Nelson Mandela's birthday. As heads of government, we are meeting in London to chart a course towards a common future for the 2.4 billion citizens we collectively represent. Lord Mayor, they just grew by another 100 million. <laughs> for us, the Commonwealth provides a platform to forge common approaches to matters of global importance, underpinned by a commitment to democracy, human rights, good governance, and prosperity for all. It is also a platform to promote trade, to also promote investment and the exchange of skills and knowledge between countries. As the Commonwealth Business Forum demonstrates, the Commonwealth is also valuable, a valuable forum to promote linkages between companies and business organizations from around the world. Our experience on the African continent confirms that the most effective way of addressing challenges of economic growth and social development is through cooperation across the borders of our countries. This approach does lie at the heart of the efforts to promote greater economic integration across the continent. South Africa has entered a new era of confidence and hope. Some of you who are here encouraged me to speak a little bit about this new era that our country is in now. Our people are working together towards a common future. After several years of poor growth, limited investment, and constrained public finances, the South African economy is starting to show signs of renewal and revival. This is taking place alongside a process of political renewal, which aims to restore the credibility of our public institutions, 